techno as hell, baby. Hey guys, Will from EDM Tips. Today I'm going to show you five absolutely classic dance music sounds that you will definitely recognize and I'm going to show you how to create them from scratch using Serum. Now don't worry, if you don't have Serum or you don't use it, you can follow along in pretty much any synth, including the stock synths that come with your door. If you enjoyed this video and find it useful, smash like, remember to subscribe to my channel for music production tips each and every week. Also, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram for music production tips each and every day. And after watching this video, I recommend checking out my five essential dance music lead synths where I show you how to recreate the synths from artists such as Faithless, Underworld, Avicii and more. So today I'm going to show you how to create from scratch the techno stab from Inner City's Good Life, that deep and lush mellow pluck from Major Lazer and DJ Snake's Lean On, that buzzy lead synth that we all know and remember from Darude Sandstorm. Whether you like it or not, that's what we're doing. The pluck from Martin Garrix's Animals. And one of my personal favorites of all time, the lead synth from Vericosha, Carte Blanche, which is by Ferry Corson, whom I actually met in an after party in Bangkok once. But that's a story for another day. And funnily enough, here's a picture of one of my students meeting Ferry Corsten on a Skype call. So if you do want music production training that's going to get you to a professional level as quickly as possible, check out the coaching link below this video. As usual, you can download this project file, all the presets completely free, because I can be nice sometimes. And without further ado, let's hop into the door and get it done. Okay, so I'm going to create each of these from scratch using Serum, but I've also got the ones that I've done earlier that I compared to the tracks, so we'll listen to those as well. I've also changed the key of each of the tracks in hopes that I don't get flagged up for copyright. Okay, so the first sound we're going to make is the Good Life Techno Stab from Inner City. Now, this is based on a sampled chord, and I'm going to show you how to do that, but it's really important to resample it to get the character that we're looking for. Now, the original sound was actually sampled from a DX7, which is an FM synth, frequency modulation synth. So we're going to try and recreate that in ba -ba 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 Serum. So here's the chord that we've got in. Just a simple minor chord. So now let's try and create that sound. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is switch on both oscillators and then choose some different uh, waveforms for there. So let's see. Let's try analog, MDC. Just a bit grittier, a bit grungier. Then we're going to go for the digital, this 8-bit FWAP. So it's a bit of an organy sound. Now let's get the um, ADSR envelopes looking how they should. So a bit more of a, a stabby sound. Okay, lovely. Didn't take much word. Now let's put a filter on and apply a filter envelope. Now we want this really plucky and sharp, so let's drag that envelope control over onto the filter and then tweak the ADSR controls of that envelope to have a really quick decay. Make sure that both oscillators are going through to that filter. So now we've got that really plucky sound already. Let's just turn it down a bit. Right, now let's get on to the processing stage. So we go to FX and there are a few things we want to do here. First is add some distortion because we're going for that kind of grungy downsampled sound. So we'll put distortion on, then we'll pick down sample. And you can hear it's just adding some artifacts, giving it that kind of feel. Now after that, I'm just going to put a bit of EQ on it, maybe some compression as well, just a tiny bit. Some EQ, roll off the low end, take down the Q. And now we're going to resample it. And the way we're going to do that is, in fact, no, we're going to add some EQ afterwards. So I'm just going to use an EQ8 in Ableton. And I'm going to take out some of the low frequencies. And the last thing actually we need to do is add some actual frequency modulation. That's super important, almost forgot it. So what we're going to do is choose oscillator B to frequency modulate oscill oscillator A. And we just turn that up a bit and listen to the effect it has. So it's adding that really kind of grungy sound to it. Let's perhaps make that last a bit longer with the envelope. And lots of this is tweaking. Okay, now let's add a tiny bit of noise oscillator. 
And again, I'm going to use the same envelope as that's controlling the volume of these two. And we just add a little bit of noise. So that's sounding quite grungy, quite nasty. Now this is what we're going to do. We'll open a new track and we're going to select resample. And again, you can do this in whichever door you're using. Make sure we arm that track and that this volume is going to be, yeah, it's quite high. I'll turn it down a bit so it doesn't distort. Lovely. Okay, now let's record just that one organ chord. Boom, done. Only joking. Okay, now we've got that. We can delete the original synth, create a new MIDI channel, and then we are going to stick a sampler on there. Now I'm just going to use the simpler in Ableton. doesn't matter which sampler you use. And then you can drag in the chord that we've just sampled. So you can hear that techno sound. So let's just take the MIDI that I programmed in earlier. Now we've taken the MIDI across, we can also delete that sample that we had recorded in the resampling. So now we've just got the sampler re-triggering this chord that we programmed. Cool. Okay, next thing we're going to do is just develop that sound slightly. So to add some more upper harmonics, I'm just going to duplicate everything. Up an octave. Boom. And now it's a case of making this sound a bit better, adding some of the delay on it. So let's just do that. We are going to add a little bit more grit by using the Redux in Ableton. But again, you can use a different bit crusher just to take down the quality a bit more. Nice. And now let's put an echo on there. So the right settings would be one eighth time and notes rather than dotted. A little bit of dry wet. Put it to ping pong mode. And here's the one I created earlier whilst actually referencing the track itself. Techno as hell, baby. I know it's not identical, but it gives you that classic Detroit techno feel, and that's how you achieve it. That was one of the more complex sounds. So now we're going to go on to that pluck sound from the drop in Animals by Martin Garrix, taking it forwards a couple of decades. This is probably one of the tunes I've been asked for as a DJ more than any other. I'm not sure, don't hold me to that, but... It's been requested a lot over the years. So here is the riff. Okay, well, let's make it actually sound like the plaque in animals. And here's how we do it. First, we need to select a sine wave. So we'll go to analog, basic shapes. We've got a sine wave selected. Let's make it really plucky. Add a noise oscillator. Again, we're going to put the envelope one onto that. Just to add some grit. And we're almost there already. Let's just get to the effects section and beef it up a bit. So first we'll put some distortion on. We need a little bit of delay, a little bit of reverb and a little bit of compression. But what we're going to do is move the compressor to be after the delay and the reverb, so it all kind of squashes it together. But for the delay, what we want is a very short delay, and we're just going to use this as the harsh effect. So very short matter of milliseconds, just to give it a little bit of stereo width. So let's turn off the other effect. So that's with the delay off, and this is with it on. Let's compress it all together. And the last thing we're going to add is some EQ. Take out the low end. Boost the top a little bit, maybe. Actually, I don't think it needs it. And there we go, and this is the one I made earlier.
pretty much exactly the same. And let me know if you like this series, if there's anything else you want me to cover in terms of five classic sounds, I want to know, so let me know. Okay, on to the next, and this is Lean On by Major Lazer and DJ Snake. And this is a really nice, beautiful, lush pluck sound from the beginning of the track and actually all the way through the track. So let's create this from scratch. Okay, so I've got the MIDI programmed in, just two default instances of Serum. Okay, obviously that's unacceptable. So let's get in and we'll turn the bass line off and we're just going to work on the top pluck. So again, we are going to start just with the saw wave as is default and the first thing we're going to do is get the pluck effect. That means tweaking the ADSR controls to get it more of a plucky shape. Bit of... So I've got a bit of decay, a bit of sustain and some release to make it plucky but not too plucky. Now we'll put a filter on. In fact, no, I'll, I'll leave that filter for the time being. Let's create a bit more richness and depth with this sound. So what we're going to do is add some unison, I think, first. In fact, no, we can do that after the fact. Let's do it in the effects. We're going to use some hyper dimension, and this is to kind of blur the sound a bit, which is a really nice way that they, which is, which is a really nice technique that they use in the track to make it not completely on the grid. It sounds a little bit blurred. And we want a bit more grunginess to that sound. So what I'm going to do is choose a filter. And yeah, we, we will do it here, actually. Put the envelope on it. Nice. OK, we're, we're pretty close to it already. Now let's add some compression and a little bit of delay. Again, the harsh effect. Just to blur it slightly. And we also need a bit of noise here. But make sure that the noise gets rooted through to the filter as well. And now let's add some reverb to make it really spacey and airy and beautiful. Now, the thing I want to do to add more character to this sound is add another filter, but I'm going to just choose a band pass filter, and we're going to fade in some of it. And this is why, because we want to kind of pick up a particular frequency. A resonant frequency. So let's just feed some of that in now. Boost the whole thing up. And what we've got is the bass programmed in on a separate line. And that's simply because we don't want all of that reverb on the bass because it's going to muddy our mix up. So what we can do is we can just copy that pluck that we created, paste it in our bass track, like so. Just make sure we go into effects, turn off the reverb so our bass sounds like this. And then put them both together. And then this is what we have. And this is the one I created earlier to the track itself. Not far off. OK, on to the next. Now, this is a sound that you will pretty much recognize. This track actually used to annoy the hell out of me when it was being played, but it's a classic. Everyone knows it. So let's listen to it. It's Sandstorm by Darude. It is 136 BPM. So again, we're jumping back a few years now. And we are just going to listen to the default patch as it stands. Very uninspiring. So let's quickly build that out. This one's 
quite a quick one actually. So again, we're going to start with a uh, saw wave. Let's just take it down 19 semitones. We are going to add a pulse wave for the second oscillator. And we can just go to default and basic shapes, go up to a pulse wave. So we're already almost there, but we're going to put this up an octave. And now it's just a case of adding a few effects to kind of grunge it up a bit. So we'll add another bit of distortion, add some down sampler, just to crunch it up a tiny bit. Just a little bit. Then we're going to add some delay. Turn this on to ping pong. Some reverb. And this is the one I made earlier. Okay, so all the only difference is I put an EQ on and I took out some of the low end so the bass won't clash with it in the track itself. So now let's listen to it. Tick, 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 boom. Yeah, there we go. And now my favorite, Carte Blanche by Vera Kosher, aka Ferry Corsten, one of my all time favorite producers. As I said before, I met him on a night in Bangkok once. Again, a story for another time, but basically I wanted to recreate this track. And the thing that took the longest about this is what was the MIDI, working out the MIDI notes. So this is the track as it stands. And again, I've changed the key so we don't get flagged up for copyright. And let me know if you're in. So here's, Car so here's the riff from Carte Blanche. So here's the riff from Carte Blanche. Not very inspiring, although it's an absolute tune. Let's be fair, very, it's an absolute tune. So we're just going to build out this kind of big saw, saw wave riff arpeggio to make it sound epic. The more epic, the better. So let's just detune this default saw wave. Let's get eight detunes on there, eight unisons on there, sorry. And let's tweak the ADSR so it's a bit less sustained. A bit more release. A bit pluckier. Already it's taking shape. Such a tune, such a tune. Okay, oscillator B. I think we're going to stick with a saw wave, but add a bunch more unison and throw it up an octave as well, and just fade that in a bit. Now we're getting somewhere. And where that place is utter euphoria. Right, okay, on to the next. We want again, like the last, um, we want again, like in Lean On, to add a bit more character to this. Now I'm switching around the filtering order here, and I'm gonna explain exactly why. I want the low pass filter, which we're going to add in the effect, to be filtering out some of these frequencies that I'm going to be adding with this filter that I'm going to use here. So what I'm going to do is choose one of these miscellaneous ones. I'm going to go to screen band pass. And like with lean on, I want to add a bit more character to this sound and make it a bit less bog standard. So let's just listen to this filter. just to make it a bit nastier um, and also a bit better. So the next thing I'm going to do is add a second envelope and we're going to be using this for our filter and it's going to be very plucky, but we're going to add a little bit of noise oscillator as well, just to give it more white noise in the top end. So let's choose white, bright white in here. Just to add more pluckiness. I know what we need to do to make this sound a bit more lively. 
If you see here, I've actually changed the velocity of some of the notes. Uh, let's ch ch change this one up. Basically, the main melody that's going along the top of this arpeggio, I'm putting all the notes to full velocity. And the reason is, I'm now going to assign something to the velocity control. So we can assign it to the level of both of our oscillators. And that's going to mean the full velocity notes, which we've got programmed in, are going to be slightly louder than the other ones. It's going to add more movement to this sound. We can do it with the no white noise as well. So there's already more movement in the sound. Let's fade in some of that filter. Both oscillates, I think. About halfway, I think. And now let's add those effects to make it really, really epic. We can try the hyperdimension again, but I don't think it's going to be much use here. Nah. Okay, distortion. Not sure if we need it. But what we definitely need is an, a filter to do the low pass, which I'm going to show you soon. And we also need, of course, the reverb to give it that epic sound. So now let's put this filter on and, yeah, see what happens. Now we want this to be a low pass filter so we can fade the whole synth down. And what we're going to do is add envelope 2 to this as well and it's going to give it a plucky feel. But we need this to be happening before the reverb, otherwise it's sounding really weird. It's just cutting the reverb out all the time. So let's reorder these. And this is why plugin orders are super important. Again, if you want to find out more about plugin orders, you can check out my free training below this video. Uh, so now we've switched it around, let's have a listen. Okay, I'm absolutely massively distorting now, clipping there. So we just take down the master. And this is the one I created earlier. Here's one I made earlier. So yeah, pretty much the same. That's such a good tune. So there you have it, guys. I really hope you've enjoyed this. Now we go into sound design and mixing and mastering so much more in the EDM Tips coaching program. So again, check them out below. You can download this project file, all of these serum presets completely free. Again, the link's below this video. And if you enjoyed it, please like, share, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Until next time, cheers and happy producing.